This is the last video that we're going to do for Pace 1088 in the Pace Math. And we're going to cover pages 41 to 44, and I'm also going to give you a quick tip about pages 45 through 46. And particularly for you parents, I'd like for you to tune in for the last part of this video. All right, <clears throat> let's talk about um, division. When we have something divided by something, okay? And of course, in this case, we have a negative divided by a negative, and we have to remember the rules. We just have to memorize. If we are multiplying or dividing and the signs are the same, the answer is always positive. If the signs are different, the answer is negative. And that's different than adding or subtracting, but that is the rule for dividing. So we are going to get a positive answer, okay? And 78 divided by 13 is, drum roll, 6, okay? But now, what are we going to do with these exponents? We have x to the seventh power divided by x to the second power. And over here, we have x y to the fifth divided by y to the third. And if, as you read through the page describing how to do this, it tells you that you are going to subtract. Okay, when we're dividing, we subtract the exponents. Okay, <clears throat> so up here on the top, x to the seven subtract x squared, so 7 minus 2 would be 5. So the answer is going to be x to the fifth. y to the fifth divided by y to the third will subtract 5 minus 3, and we get y to the second power, and we're done. Okay? That's simple. <clears throat> so first divide the numbers, but then when you have exponents, we subtract the exponents. Let's do another one. 60 divided by negative 15. Now here we have signs are different, and we're dividing. So we have to get a negative number, and the answer will be negative 4, because 15 times 4 is 60. And now we're going to subtract the exponents. So 5 minus 2 would be x to the third, and then 5 minus 3 is 2, so y squared. What if I had a z term up here? Okay, if I'm not dividing by anything down here, then I would just tack the z on as part of the answer, all right? <clears throat> now let's come over and do what's called a longer division problem. And each step, so it's like this whole thing divided by this, each step is kind of like doing one of these. All right, let me illustrate. I have negative 6 x to the 8th, and I'm dividing by 2 x to the 3rd. Okay? So this is just a different way of writing it, but it means this term divided by this. And if I simplified this, notice I would get negative 3 and then subtract the exponents, x to the fifth, okay? And now we'll do the same thing with this, and I'm going to go ahead and write this one, negative 10 x to the fifth y divided by 2x to the third. <laughs> <clears throat> so again, we, sub we uh, divide the negative 10 divided by 2, so we know that that's negative 5, Subtract the exponents, so x squared, and here's one of those cases where we're just going to tack on the y because there's nothing here to cancel against it. Okay, so we just keep the same y to the 1 power as part of the answer. We're done. That whole problem's done. Okay? This one's longer. We have three terms. I'm going to do the, these steps in my head. Okay, see if you can do it in your head with me. Picture this on the top. Picture this underneath it, all right? Picture that on the whiteboard of your brain. And let's see what we would get. We would have 6 on the top divided by negative 6 on the bottom. Negative 1, all right? So let's write that. We have x squared on the top over x on the bottom. And so we subtract the exponents and just get x. And then a y on the top, y on the bottom, y cancels, okay? Do you see why? No, because it cancels. Ha! All right. 
Let's uh, do negative 18 divided by negative 6. Okay, do that on the whiteboard of your brain. Negative 18 over negative 6. So negative divided by negative, we're going to have positive 3. And then we have x on the top and an x on the bottom, but they both are to the 1 power, so they're going to cancel out. And now we have y squared on the top and a y on the bottom. And so we subtract 2 minus 1. Are you with me? And we'll just have 3y. Let's see if we can do this last step, okay? 12 divide by the negative 6. So again, positive divided by a negative means where the answer is going to be negative. 12 divided by 6 is 2. We just have an x on the top, x on the bottom, so they cancel out. Y to the third is on the top, Y is on the bottom. And so Y to the third minus Y to the one, subtract the exponents rather, and uh, we'll get Y squared, okay? So that would be the answer to the whole problem. We can just do that in one step, just going directly from here to our answer. We don't have to do that. You're welcome to if that helps, okay? And I think that should help you do the rest of the problems on that page. Let's talk for a minute now about pages 45 through 46. And um, just before the second checkup, there was a section where you had a lot of story problems as well. And here on page 46, uh, 45 and 46, there are four story problems. And again, I'm going to just, parents, th these, this is where we're, we're getting into the higher thinking levels. All right? And it involves a lot, it's a lot more challenging. And I don't think students should just be expected to sit down and just do it, okay? This is much harder and much more different, okay, than anything they've done. Yes, it is in a way an application of what they've been learning, but it's, um, it really takes some thinking. So I would strongly urge you as a parent to sit with your child and if you need to, have the score key kind of open off to the side and glance at it to get some ideas and then try to lead your teen to uh, think through the problem and come up with the equation, okay? If your child is just really, really, really struggling and you are just barely holding on and uh, not pulling your hair out and getting to this point and you're like, we, we had so much trouble and just looking at these story problems are blowing my brain <laughs> and I know my teen will never get this. You know, you know your child. This is a page that honestly you could skip if you absolutely have to. I would encourage you to try to work through it, try to think through the problems, but please don't just push them off and have them do it on their own. They, they really need some guidance um, as they go through that page. <clears throat> if for some reason you decide you just cannot do that page, then when you get to the checkup, then I would recommend you also mark off those two problems on the checkup that are of that type. But they, your teen should be expected to do the rest of those problems on the checkup successfully. All right, that takes us to the end of this pace and then you're ready for the self-test and after that the pace test. All right, I hope you do well and uh, do a, get a good score on that. Parents, um, if for some reason you have decided not to go with these story problems, then you need to look at the self-test and the pace test and uh, maybe take some of those types of problems off the test and not count them. But um, that would just be for a student who's really struggling, okay? The average and above average student, I think, should, be, should take the challenge, okay? And try to do those story problems and develop their brain a little bit more. But this has been a tough pace, all right? There's a lot of algebra in here in a pre-algebra course. And uh, we'll see what pace 1089 holds on another day.